Hey guys, Shane Storms with the DroidModerX.com. Today I'm bringing you guys the full review of Signage Mod 10 on the HTC One. This is the unlocked version. Uh, this is not a carrier version, but this ROM will be the same on your carrier version, whether you're running Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, or uh, in the future Verizon. I'm pretty excited that Verizon did announce that they will be carrying this device. As you guys can see, I'm running strictly Wi-Fi, so I can't really tell you how battery life's been on this thing because I've just been running it totally Wi-Fi, but I have gotten plenty of use of this phone on Signage of my 10. Now, I personally kind of enjoy HTC Sense 5, but I know there are so many critics out there. I will have to say that the Nexus experience on the HTC One has been amazing. It's been a totally clean and seamless experience. There's been no lag whatsoever. Of course, I didn't experience any lag on Sense 5 either. The one thing that I'm missing on Signage of My 10 is Blink Feed. I know that there are the critics of Blink Feed. Personally, I enjoyed Blink Feed. And like I said, that's the one thing that I am missing. So even though we're running Signage of My 10, we're no longer running Sense. We still have these awesome speakers on the HTC One, and they still sound awesome because, you know what, even though we've changed the software, there are still amplifiers that are powering each of those speakers, which is my other favorite feature of the HTC One was the boom sound. And like I said, you're not going to lose any of that awesome sound running Signage of My 10. So that is a plus if you like to run a clean vanilla Android ROM. We'll go ahead and jump into settings and see what we're working with here. Go down to about phone and you'll see that we're running Android 4.2.2 and signage of my 10. This is the 518 build. The latest build was 529. There really hasn't been a nightly build released in the past week for this device. So my guess is that they're coming out with a release candidate or a monthly build very soon that will be more stable. Uh, this has been plenty stable for me. So you see that we are running Signage of My 10 Android 4.2.2. There's the little Easter egg. It's always fun to play with. So aside from this ROM just being incredibly fast, incredibly clean, and being the true Google Nexus experience, there are also some customizations. You have your launcher. This is the Trey Boucher 1.0 launcher. Of course, you have some home screen settings, my favorite of which is the transition effect. It doesn't take much to please me. So you can do the cube out, which is my favorite, and there's several others to choose from. Of course, you do have grid size changes. You can do, um, there's an option to remove the search bar, so there's no persistent search bar. And then you have several other options in the Trebuchet launcher as well. So we'll move forward to the lock screen. You have your screen security. You have your battery status. You have your clock widget. If you go into weather panel, I like to uncheck the use metric since I'm in the United States. And then you can change your slider shortcuts. Just drag and drop to any application and you can change the application to whatever you like. I use talk a lot so I'll change that and be sure that you hit the save button or the change is not going to be saved. Now if we go up, then we land on talk. So we'll jump back into settings real quick. If we go into themes, we're able to flash any signage mod 10 or AOKP theme from the Play Store. Uh, and it's very simple. You would just choose the theme and hit that button. That'll apply the theme automatically on the fly. So it's very quick. No flashing zips in. No flashing zips in Team Win Recovery Project. And then we have some system modifications. We go into the status bar, choose to show the clock or remove the clock. All of these customizations happen on the fly. You can change the battery style. I like percentage. Then we do have a brightness control. This is a slider that works if you turn off your automatic brightness. So we go to brightness and turn that off. We come back here. We can change, we can turn on brightness control and then use our slider 
to change the brightness, which is a pretty cool feature. And then we have the show notification count. If I get an email or a notification from Twitter, or Facebook, or whatever, it'll show me the actual number of notifications that I have for that particular type of notification. We have our quick settings panel. You can change the pull down location. Right now it's on the right. You can change that to the left. And if I turn it off, I can use two fingers to pull it down. We can change our tiles and layout. You can add tiles, remove tiles. You can shift their location. We have some notification power widgets. Of course, we do have our quick settings. So in my mind, there's no reason to run power widgets, but some of you guys prefer those over the quick settings. So you do have those and you can enable those as well and use those if you prefer. Then there's an option to expand the desktop and you can press and hold the power button and expand the desktop. But as far as I can tell, there are no Pi controls here. So maybe that'll come with later builds. And my theory is that if you have hardware keys or capacitive buttons, you're not gonna get Pi control. So you'll need to be using a phone that uses software buttons in order to use Pi control on signage of my 10, or at least that's my theory. If you know better, please let me know in the comments. And we have some power menu settings clock widget settings once again and the notification light settings I like them you can change the color of your notification light and you can choose to use custom values you can add an application uh, we'll go with go with Google talk and we can make that yellow so now when I get a Google talk notification my light will be yellow and then you have some hardware keys. If you enable custom actions, you can change uh, what the back button and the home button do. And that's about it for the customization on Signage Mod 10 for the HTC One. So we're going to About Phone, check out the build number, enable developer options. It has some performance settings now, which we do. Check out the processor. And it looks like we don't have any overclocking. Of course, you could run a custom kernel and then you would have overclocking. We do have some governors. Other than that, we have some custom wallpapers and a custom boot animation. And that pretty much does it for Signage Mod 10 on the HTC One. If you want a clean, super fast experience, you're going to get that with Signage Mod 10 on the HTC One. If you're somebody that hates HTC Sense 5, this is probably the ROM for you. You definitely want to be running an AOSP ROM. Uh, so for me, this ROM has been great and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. So we'll go ahead and reboot the device so that you guys can check out the boot animation. If you like this video, be sure to give that like button a big click. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome coverage on the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, and all the other devices that I like to cover on this channel. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.